Bullum, 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 bullum. Hey, what's going on, fantasy sports fans? This is your Tampa Bay Fantasy Sports Second, and I'm your host, Roy Stonk. Can I explain the stonk, the stonk thing to you? Stonk uh, was told to me, uh, you, you know, stomp. The, uh, I don't know, the fucking Broadway hit sensation that swept the nation, uh, you know, fucking seven years ago. And it's like, uh, some people stomping around on stage, clapping their hands, stomping around in Timberlands, Timberland, Timberlands, Lands, I don't know. It's not the producer. They're stomping around on that, it's stomp. The German version of stomp is stonk. I just thought it was awesome. I always wanted to do, uh, remake it. Remake it as, uh, stonk. And I don't know. I don't. The uh, the German version of Stomp uh, called Stonk would be angrier, more uh, in time. Like they would just everything would have to be perfect. Not just you wouldn't do none, none of this jazz stuff. Bang, 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 bang. You wouldn't go off on your own. You stick to the fucking script. Okay, keep it to fucking gather. Okay, that is Stonk. Okay, I've had any questions about it. I just said Roy Stonk, so I figured I'd fucking clarify why I'm saying it. That's why, because I enjoy it. So get over it. Let me kick off the show here with uh, the Lightning. Lightning just won tonight, Thursday, against the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, two to one, which sets them up real nice because Detroit lost last night in overtime, so they still got a point. Only one for winning in overtime, which I still don't What You push it long and you make the people stay up later so you get another fucking point. So yeah. Tampa Bay won outright tonight, two to one against uh, the Hurricanes. So they got 41, Detroit 40, Montreal 38, Toronto 35, and Boston has just shit the bed with 31. They are down 10 points uh, in the Eastern Conference uh, Atlantic Division. Uh, 10 points from uh, Tampa Bay. I realize this is not a Bruins podcast, but I do enjoy the Bruins. So I figured I'd bring that up. That's where it ends. I'll rank to wherever the uh, the Bruins stop, and then below that it doesn't matter. Except for you got Flo- you got the Florida Panthers who sit at twenty nine, which they fucking that it, it, it's done. It, it's going to come down to, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Tampa Bay Lightning, Detroit Red Wings, Montreal Canadiens, and Toronto Maple Leafs, unless things after the All Star break uh, completely change. Well, speaking of the All Star break, I want you to hop on over to. Uh, the lightning.com there, lightning.nhl.com, and vote for your favorite uh, uh, fucking lightning players. Get them into the All Star game. Do you actually think that that matters? Do you think it's just let me, uh, let's fucking put the vote out there and tell people that they're actually voting for something? It's like the fucking Rock and Roll Hall of Fame fucking vote. I went and voted Stevie Ray Vaughan. All these people. Green Day was on there. Why the fuck should they be on there? Before war? Are you fucking crazy, Green Day? You're out of your mind. But still, go over, have some fun. Stammer, put them in. Be nice to see some Lightning players represented in the All-Star game. But what can you do if they're not? Uh, ben Bishop better fucking be there. I swear to God. I'll fucking burn this city to the goddamn ground if he's not fucking in net. I swear to you, I'm spitting all over this fucking screen. Just letting you know. It's fucking pouring here. It's pouring. I'm just pouring. As I say pouring, just spitting everywhere. So let me jump on over to the Rays, see what's going on. Uh, with the winter break here, um, you know, the Rays got Kevin Cash in there, manager. They got new general manager Matt Silverman uh, getting settled down to their jobs. Um, from what I'm seeing, it, it doesn't seem like they're going to make any big deals to bring in any uh, free agents, which is a little disappointing. They got a decent pitching staff, even though, you know, they've lost some players, but uh, they're hoping. Uh, they can pick up some of those fucking, those bargain bin, those deep discount players uh, as the season uh, moves closer. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, and on the topic of baseball, John Lester did not go home to uh, the Boston Red Sox. He went to the Cubbies. They with old Joey Madden. So they're putting together a nice team over there in the uh, south, south side of uh, Chicago. They're Southie. Is that the Chicago Southie? Dorchester, they got the Dorchester, they got some docks over there, what's going on to it? Okay, so that's that's where the baseball is, um, I don't know, the Rays just haven't picked anyone up, it, uh, with with the way that division looks, it, it, I don't know what the Rays can do, 
But I guess we got to uh, put our faith in uh, Kevin Cash and uh, General Manager Matt Silverman to see if they can uh, put a team together that are going to uh, make people want to go and watch because no one wants to see a shitty team play. You just don't want to. I wouldn't fucking go. Like, the only time I go to games there are when they're do. I don't want to fucking drive across there. The game's at 7. I get out of work at 4... Uh, not 4.30, 5 o'clock, 5.30... That means I gotta leave straight from work and fucking drive across the fucking Howard Franklin. The hofo. Can you do that, How Howard Johnson? Howard Franklin? H hofro? Hofra? I don't know. I don't want to fucking drive across there for a game that's being played by a bunch of fucking jokers. I just don't want to fucking do it. So get some decent fucking players in there. Start winning some games. You know, I support them. I do. But I don't want to, I'm not going to pay, well, I was going to say I'm not going to pay a lot of money. It's not a lot of money to go see a fucking Rays game. Fucking get your asses out there next season, guys. It's fucking cheap as shit. One of the cheapest in fucking baseball. And the fuck, it's, the view is great from fucking anywhere. Just fucking do it, man. Just fucking bite the bullet. Go watch the fucking Rays. I was going to say good or bad, but I just told you I wouldn't even fucking go. So how can I say, hey, I wouldn't eat this food. I wouldn't, it's fucking disgusting. But hey, guys, go out and eat it. Doesn't make sense, does it? Hey, let's wrap up the race here. They need to start putting some fucking... They need to get some hitters. The rotation's decent, but they need to make a fucking splash in the off season here. They haven't done anything. Yeah, you got a manager. You needed that. You got some guy who hasn't fucking managed a team. Okay. You got a fucking jerk-off general manager. I don't know what he's done. I didn't look into him. Fuck him. And also, fuck him, but also, uh... You know, get a team together, okay? That's what we need. Let me jump on over to the foosball here. Um, what a boring game tonight, huh? Arizona Cardinals, St. Louis Rams. Jesus. 12-6. to 6, Like fucking 17 field goals. Oh, it was fucking brutal. And, uh, fucking Drew Stanton went down for the Cardinals. So if they do make the playoffs, I don't know what the hell they're going to do. Uh, Carson Palmer's out. Who knows how long Stanton's going to be out. Uh, this, the St. Louis Rams are pretty much out of the playoffs, but uh, with the Cardinals win, they're, uh, they're moving towards uh, winning that division, so we'll see how that, that pans out. But if they don't have a quarterback, geez. I don't know if their offense can keep up with with uh, these defenses that make it into the playoffs. I mean, they got a decent team. They're, I mean, their def defense is good, uh, especially against the run. Uh, they're weak against a tight end, and, you know, Patrick Peterson can only do so much. But uh, their offense, their running game, yeah, they put up some decent run yards tonight, but they don't have one guy that can really just blow it out, you know. Uh, Larry's getting old, and, and uh, Michael Floyd's not doing too much. Uh, yeah, especially when you don't have a quarterback that can throw it to you, I mean. They need to give him some protection because these guys are getting fucking injured left and right. You're on a third-string quarterback. Third-string quarterback that no one's ever heard of. You know, I wish him all the fucking best, but you can only do so much, especially going to the playoffs. These guys fucking want it. And, uh, you know, I'm sure this guy's fucking shit. Like, he's got his chance, and he's got to fucking blow it up. He's got to blow it up because he, he could be looking for a new job. Next year, there's going to be tons of fucking... Open quarterback, uh, starting quarterback slots in the NFL, and, and these players that are getting their their shot, you know, over in Philly with Mark uh, Sanchez starting. And a fucking cat at the door. Once he won't shut up. I'm trying to talk about Sanchez here. Yeah, so he he's filling in for Nick Foles, and I'm sure Nick Foles is going to come back. But Sanchez is basically playing for a job next year. He could come in and and do do a great job and and. Same with the Bucks there. You know, Josh McCown wants to keep the job, obviously, and you got fucking Mike Glennon sitting back here. He wants to start. So there's a lot of positions, especially at the quarterback position, where people want to start, and there's going to be some open slots next year. Who knows if the St. Louis Rams are going to stick with Sam Bradford. He gets fucking injured in the first game of season every year, it seems, and he's fucking done for the season. So there's going to be a lot of uh, open positions there at the, at the QB. Uh, position uh, so all the, all these guys who were getting their chance, you know Manzel, fucking Stanton, Sanchez, 
uh, Glennon and McCown. Um, they're playing for, for a job next year, I think, at this point, especially the teams who are out of playoff contention. Speaking of the Bucks, Glennon, McCown, let's jump over there. They head to Carolina uh, this weekend. I mean, with the news uh, with uh, Cam Newton uh, fracturing his back, which they're saying he, you know, oh, well, he's not going to play this weekend. Oh, you fracture your back, man. There's only a couple more games. I know there's a chance they can make the playoffs, but just fucking sit it out, man. You fracture your fucking back. Jesus Christ, just just sit it out. Just sit it out. Because playing a game, that's great to fucking get paid. That's your job. But also, you'd like to walk. That'd be nice, too. I'd like to walk, be able to walk by 27. You know, Christ. So, I mean, that him being out, uh, I mean, sad to say, but it, it makes the game for the Bucks more winnable. Especially with the, uh, you know, you, you're going to be throwing in... Uh, Backup quarterback, I believe it's uh, Anderson uh, coming in there for the Panthers. Um, and the Bucks defense has been stepping up a little bit. And their run game is not the best. Um, the Panthers, that is. Uh, so the Buccaneers, I think defensively they have a good chance. Carolina uh, wasn't doing well on offense anyways, especially now that you take out um, Cam Newton and you remove the threat of the run. So now you just got a pocket passer. So you know what he's going to do. You don't have to worry about that. So um, with that being said, let's jump into your Fantasy Sunday Tampa Bay stack. Why the fuck not? Have you won any money? I won some last week. A couple bucks. It's not bad. Uh, nothing off the buck stack. But what can you do? It's tough to stack a team that doesn't have people at every position that can play. So let me start it off here. QB, obviously Josh McCown, okay? They're going up against Carolina, who doesn't have the best pass defense. Uh, doesn't have the best defense that, you know, so maybe they're going to be playing harder this week for uh, Cam Newton. You know, just have that, yeah, you got to fucking back your teammate. You want to go out there and win. So we got Josh McCown, running back Doug Martin. He did me right two weeks ago. Punching the touchdown. Didn't do too much last week. They were coming from behind. Uh, so the run game was pretty much moot at that point. Uh, so I'm going with uh, Josh McCown, Doug Martin. I'm going with Vincent Jackson. I feel like with the Carolina defense, they're going to put their best D back on Mike Evans because they know he can do everything. I feel like that will leave Vincent Jackson open, and he'll be able to get in there and uh, and put up a lot of yards, and he did that last week. He put up a lot of yards. He couldn't get a touchdown, now. And then with that, I'm going with the defense uh, Buccaneers at the, the defense spot. Um, I'm over here in DraftKings. I could put more people in, but I think it's best that I stick with those four, Josh McCown, Doug Martin, um, Vincent Jackson, and the Bucks defense. Other than that, running back, I'm going with Le'Veon Bell. They're going against the Steelers, going against Atlanta Falcons. Um, Atlanta Falcons' run defense is awful, and Le'Veon Bell has been going off in the run game, in the pass game. It's just ridiculous. This guy is going nuts. So I feel like it's perfect for him. If they can pull ahead, they'll just keep running him, getting you those points. <coughs> Receiver, I'm going with uh, uh, Steve Smith, um, uh, with Torrey Smith possibly being out for the season, possibly not coming back, especially for this game. Um, he's going to be the guy that uh, Flacco's looking for um, against Jacksonville uh, Jaguars, which always sets up nice. They're good in the run. Also, for the running back, you could also uh, you could fucking shoehorn in fucking Justin Forsett because that run defense is not good. They're giving up, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, the most touchdowns in the league. Rushing touchdowns, that is. Then uh, receiver, I'm going with Eric Decker for the Jets. The The Jets are playing the Tennessee Titans, who are beatable uh, deep there, which with Harvin being out, he's going to be done uh, probably for the season. So that leaves Decker, uh, possibly Curly, um, and, and the t like I said, the, di the Titans. The Titans, who's that? Is that a farm team? Um, that leaves, they're very beatable. 
going deep, and I feel like that there's another uh, QB position that's open. That's uh, for the taking there um, with Mike Vick and uh, Geno Smith. So I feel like they're going to be wanting to prove something, especially for their coach. They want an old uh, fucking Rex foot fetish Ryan to uh, maybe keep his job. He might keep his job, and they might push out the fucking GM. We'll see. So let me pop over to tight end. I'm going with Delaney Walker, who plays for the Tennessee Titans, who uh, is going up against the Jets, who we just spoke about, whose pass defense is not that good, especially against the tight end. So uh, we'll see who's in at quarterback uh, for the Titans, whether it will be, uh, uh, what is it, Mettenberger, I believe, or uh, Jake Locker. I'd go with Jake Locker. I think Mettenberger might uh, be injured. Um, so uh, I think Delaney's a pretty nice fit in there. Then again, I'm on draft street, so instead of the kicker, you have a flex position, and that'll be, I'm going with Matt Forte. They're going up, they're at home. In Chicago against the New Orleans Saints, who just got the shit kicked out of them last week by Carolina. Cam Newton in Carolina. Jonathan Stewart went off, went fucking nuts. I'm going with Matt Forte. He's good out of the backfield run. He's good in the flat for passes. Just, I think, at home uh, with a uh, playoffs on the line, I think he's a he's a safe bet to put up some numbers for you. So, again, QB, Josh McCown, running back, Le'Veon Bell, Doug Martin, receivers, Eric Decker, Vincent Jackson, Steve Smith, tight end, Delaney Walker, flex, Matt Forte, defense, Buccaneers. I'm hoping this one puts some pennies in my bank. I need some money. Uh, it's coming to the end of the year. And uh, in April, the, uh, the tax man... We'll come a knocking, and I need to have some money to send him because I am deep. I am in deep with a lot of people. So, folks, thank you for listening. Uh, as always, have a good one. Take it easy. Go Bucks, Lightning, keep rolling. And uh, everyone, have a good one. Stonk it. <laughs> Hey,